Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to prepare two snacks using same fillings. Mini samosa and chicken hot pockets. Chicken hot pockets are usually known as koriyada in South India. Now let's see how to boil a chicken. Thoroughly clean the chicken. Place chicken in a pressure cooker, then add turmeric powder 1 teaspoon, chili powder 2 teaspoon, pepper powder 2 teaspoon, chicken masala 1 teaspoon and salt 1 teaspoon. If you don't want this to be this spicy, you can just add pepper to the chicken and boil them. But I can assure you that this masala tastes so much better and it gives a nice spice to the fillings. Now pour 2 cups of water for the purpose of boiling. And we can close it with the lid and pressure cook for 3 whistles. Now let's see the ingredients. 1 cup onion chopped, 1 cup chicken chopped after cooking in pressure cooker, 2 teaspoon ginger and garlic paste, 2 cups plain 4, 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon coriander powder, 2 teaspoon chili powder, 1 cup of water, 1 teaspoon of pepper powder, 2 teaspoon of ghee salt to taste in a hot pan pour 2 teaspoon oil and salt onion well adding a teaspoon of salt so that the onions would get fried up very fast add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder and coriander powder chili powder pepper powder and salt well this should be sorted until it turns light brownish after that, only we'll add some chicken to it. I hope you can see that it has turned little brownish and now we have added chicken and pour few more drops of oil so that the chicken gets brownish. We need the chicken and onion to be brownish. If you want the chicken to be in small pieces, you can just dab them with the spoon as how it is done in the video. Now add some salt to it. More salt so the salt content is perfect in the masala or fillings. Once chicken turns brown, we can remove from flame and keep it aside. Knead 2 cups of plain flour, 1 teaspoon salt, K2 teaspoon and water as per the requirement. At least make 5 balls out of this kneaded flour. Now unroll them and to make samosa, let's cut them into strips. It should be thin ones. Cut these thin strips into two so that you get more content of the samosa and it will be very mini form. Take a strip and shape them into a cone shape. Now add fillings to it.
and make it in a triangular form like how normally the samosa is shaped it will be cute and yummy to eat I hope you can see very well that it has turned out to be in a triangle shape. Now do the other ones the same way. We have showed here one more time. Now for cooking koreada or chicken hot pockets, let's unroll the kneaded floor and use any circular shape or any lid or any cap of the bottle and make them in a circular form, how it is shown in the video. It should be carefully done and it should be firmly pressed for the perfect round shape. Then remove the other portions, fill inside each and fold it as per shown. You can see that it is in a perfect round shape and it looks very cute. Now let's fill them. Use fork to give design to edges. Also ensure that the openings are firmly closed. This is a very easy method for shaping the ends. I hope you can see that these are perfectly done. The speciality of making the masala more brownish is that it helps to store for more days. These could be fried and kept in a box and could eat whenever we need. You can see mini samosas and hot chicken pockets or koreada in the mini forms in this plate. Now let's fry them. Add oil in a pan and keep it high flame for 5 minutes then lower the flame and fry samosas and koreada together or if you want it to be fried separately you can do that also. But it doesn't matter if you fry them together. It should be fried until it turns brownish and I hope you can see that it is turning brownish. Now let's shift them into a strainer to strain the oil. Now it's ready to serve and all should try this. Hope you loved the video. Please do subscribe to our channel and do try and tag us. Thank you.